Are you um with anybody this evening? I'm um I'm actually with my girlfriend, darling. Thank you. What a waste. There you are, Mary. He's your friend. I I've never seen him before. Just some guy. reveals how the Spanish, with Litvinenko's help, were closing in on Russian organized crime and how they were chasing... You said three. Vasily Bransky, the finisher. Killer? He has a team of killers. The rest are just criminals. I know Russia is run by people from the KGB of St. Petersburg. So, you don't say anything about Putin out of caution? It's just politics. So you don't say anything to avoid problems? Yes, possibly. Very famous, very famous range when Putin is no longer president. The man they interviewed died in a mysterious car crash in France shortly after he spoke to Spanish police. Why he's here? He's here to kill you. He's here to kill you. We're almost five parties. Kind of shows. So why did you come then? Well, I'm something of a people watcher. A people watcher? Mm-hmm. That wouldn't be the same thing as a stalker now, would it? No, far from it. I'm fascinated by the way people interact. Their social behavior, body, language, mannerisms, you know. I'm an amateur anthropologist. Kind of a hobby. Sounds incredibly dull. Oh, we're far from it, believe me. See these three over here? What about them? Well, the girl on the left is strongly attracted to the guru. He does open his body out to her. Notice the way his hands tucked in his belt, as if he's subconsciously trying to divert her gaze to his groin. It's not working, though. Because he's actually more attracted to the other guy. He's slightly more reserved. Notice where your toes are pointing directly at him. And when she talks to him, she brushes her hair away back from her neck as if to draw attention to her cleavage. Wow. That was amazing. I mean, you could have just summed it up by saying they're a bunch of horny fuckers, but that was great. <laughs> that may be, but sorry for being scientific. It's okay. I can forgive you for being scientific. But I can't forgive you for hurting my feelings. Hurting your feelings? Yeah. I was supposed to be a people watcher and you didn't even notice me come through the door. <laughs> I'm hurt. Who said I didn't notice you? Heaven's clean. Marketing department. Right. Donovan. Graphics. You studying? Yeah, back home. Moved around a lot since then. And with your degree in graphic design, it's what you've always done? Just a means of sustenance, nothing more. Well, I'm sure Anna appreciates the bursting enthusiasm you have. <laughs> oh, I'm very enthusiastic, just mm -hmm. not about that. Yeah, is that so? So how long have you been around here? Doesn't suit you. What doesn't suit me? This small talk sight. You are way more direct. If you want to ask me something, just ask. And it that's just bores me. Who says I want anything from you? <laughs> You're a body, remember. I'm a people watcher. So you have been watching my body? Or I could do exams on it. Arrogant prick, aren't you? <laughs> Better. Now you're talking your mind. Keep going. All right, then. So what are you enthusiastic about, other than people watching, of course? Do you know where Wiltshire Gardens Terrace is? Yeah, it's not far from here. Number 16. You don't seriously think I'm just going to come back to your place, do you? No, I think you're going to spend the next two hours struggling with two ideas. Firstly, to not show up and teach me a lesson. And secondly, 
to come along and find out more about me. So when are they coming back? Soon. We better get started then. Peter, Karen, oh, the devil are you? Hi, Roy. Hi. Lovely to see you. Wow. Mm, guten Tag. Guten Tag. <laughs> uh, you don't mind me bringing my secretary along, do you? Only I wasn't able to find my proverbial from my elbow. No problem. Go on, man. Hi. Oh, hi, pleased to meet you. Now, I'll get right down to it because I know you're both due back at work soon. Um, oh, before I forget, <sighs> your key, sir. Cheers. Thanks. Um, now, as far as I can see, your little flat has a clean bill of health. You can, uh, you can expect a good offer for this, I think. Really? So, you think we're going to the asking price? Oh, absolutely. Location, location, location. With the condition as well, I mean, you'll probably get a few offers over the asking, I think. You, I'm genuinely excited. And that little bit of dampness in the cupboards isn't too serious? Uh, not at all. Uh, a little bit of rendering and that'll clean up nicely.